opinion, what are the biggest obstacles we need to overcome for mass adoption? I know it's such like a broad general question, but like what it what is, you know, Richard's doing all he can as far as outrage marketing, all these things, getting attention to himself, which which the idea is to lead to the products. Um, there's a lot of hexagons out and pulsicans out there doing mail, you know, uh, snail mail, putting putting stuff out there to rich neighborhoods, all that stuff, and all these NASCAR things like that. What what is like what is in the way? Is it is it literally just people can't wrap their head around it? The scam label that's you know unjustifiable, all this stuff. Like what is Pulse Chain two or Fork and Ethereum? What do we need to do to to you know to have instead of two hundred k holders? How do we get to a million? I think we're doing everything great. I think that everyone's going to have very different ways of going out and onboarding. Some are going to work, some are not going to work. Um, as long as we have more and more different people going out in different ways to onboard. Um, I think hexagons are really smart. We easily, like, I think it's all going fine. It's all going kind of according to plan. Um, it's just going to take time to, for people to catch on to it. I think that once Pulse Chain comes out and we massively reduce the fees to onboard people, and then if we have a, a much easier onboarding process, user experience, um, there's always going to be that kind of that the sticky point of where fiat meets um, crypto, getting your fiat into crypto, um, the, you know, that governments will have control over to an extent. Um, I think that is probably going to be, and that and gatekeeping, um, you know, the, it's pretty it's pretty ironic that. Like coin back, what's it? Coin market cap can be so off on them on their data, yet they're a data company that everybody in the space watches. Like you would have thought that once it started getting known that they had bad data, people would just leave that platform, but they well, don't. So the, so, so the argument for coin market cap is that it's not is it not listed on a centralized exchange that gets enough volume. To, no, they, yeah, I mean, they've just made I mean, that's, that's what they say, yeah. at least. That's what yeah, they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, official okay. argument for it. But, but you know, they, they, but, they, but they, yeah, but they still, they, they, they fuck with the data. You know, they leave it at 201 and they, sure. you know. And then I looked at CoinGecko, they don't even have a market cap for it, you know. So. What happened with CoinGecko? I thought we liked CoinGecko like a year or two ago and then something happened. Did they just like go, go nuts over there? What happened with that? No, they, I don't think we ever liked CoinGecko. I think okay. they're just, they've always been pretty shitty to, towards Hex. Okay. Yeah. So Nomix has always been on Team Hex. Is that, is that, is that the pretty case? much it? Yeah, pretty much. There was that, there was a, there was a, a moment where Clay, the guy who, um, who runs Nomix, started looking into uh, like how much the OA controlled and decided to readjust Hex's market cap because. Mm he didn't think that those OA coins should be counted. And, um, huh. and a lot of Hexans got bad? really, well, a lot of Hexans got, cause we were up at number, like number three in, in the rankings. And it looks, it looked like we were heading towards flipping eight. And around that time, that's when he had another look at the, all of the addresses and he decided to rank it a lot lower, but hmm. it's a bit unfair because they don't necessarily treat other, cryptocurrencies the same way and it's difficult because all of these cryptocurrencies are structured so differently and so it becomes very much a human choice whether you decide to that these coins in this and this address are part of market cap but these over on this other coin these coins in this address are not part of the market cap mm -hmm. um and so and so you know to an extent hex did gain the market cap by having um the oa control uh, so many of them and just holding them liquid, not doing anything with them. So it's kind of like supply, but it's not really because it's not that it's just sitting there, not being used. And so that's what gave Hex a really high market cap. And everyone was very aware of that. I'm sure Richard was very aware of that. There was, this is a way of gaining market cap because market cap is such a silly metric to compare these, these things across. Um, and so I, I, look, I really like Clay. I thought he's been really, open and to, to, you know, hexagons and talking to people and stuff like that. I understand that people were really pissed off when he, when he decided to change how they measure things and that put hex lower 
at the time I was like, well, it just gets means we get to climb that ranking again and we just get to have this. Because there was this whole time when we were outside of the top 10 then we were inside the top 10 and we're getting yeah. higher and higher and higher and everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah. that's going to happen again, you know. That'll just happen yeah. again as hex price gets higher. Well, I think too that you could even look at it as an affirmation that he would you know, consider the 08 coins uh, outside the market cap regardless of how it affected it, you could see a parallel between like Satoshi, right? Satoshi's coins. Should you count yeah, they, Satoshi's coins? And they do. Kind of they do nice count, in a way, they, but... They, they do count Satoshi's coins as part of the market cap. So take that for what you will. Right, yeah. right. Uh, this is a good point, I thought, from D'Angel. A million uh, university students on board, I believe it would be the word. Uh, that is anyone doing university marketing? Have, I, have anyone seen posters or like uh, given seminars or a teaching class in crypto? And hey, let's throw a DeFi class and mention Hex. Like, anyone doing anything like that yet? Uh, not that I've heard of. It's a great idea, D. You should fucking get right onto that. I think that I think anyone getting out the word in any way possible, to, according to what makes you happy and excites you to do. Like, I, I don't like people doing work for these things and then feeling resentment that their their work is not getting rewarded enough. Like the reward is in whatever you do do for, you know, for the, for the system, I think. Yeah. 